family welcome to another beautiful edition of Annie Otto's vlog if today's your first day watching me you are in the right place and at the right time please hit the right button that says subscribe turn on the notification bell and you will be among the very first people that will be notified whenever I post something new if you are a returning fan follower subscriber lover thank you so much for coming back I really really love and appreciate you please do not forget to like share and comment on my videos okay so in today's edition we are going to be discussing about women's health it's gonna be about vaginal discharge so in one way or the other every one of us as a woman have had or is having a vaginal discharge some of them are normal some are abnormal so now we are going to be discussing what is normal and what is abnormal and how can you know which one is the right one and when it should be a very big concern okay vaginal discharge is formed by the normal bacteria known as normal flora and vaginal fluid created by vaginal cells so there are so many conditions that can change or determine the discharges that our vagina has such conditions are your menstrual cycle your age stress level medication one is taking such as prolonged antibiotic and steroid use illnesses such as diabetes or maybe STI contraceptives stress or uh, sexual partners arousal situation and sexual activities so how you clean that place and what you use in cleaning that place can also cause vaginal discharges so every normal woman produces vaginal fluid of about one teaspoon approximately five cc five ml daily so when somebody is ovulating that kind of triples the amount of vaginal discharge so what are the different types of vaginal discharge the first one is clear whitey stretchy milky slippery discharge so this symbolizes ovulation so this one is normal it doesn't smell it's like egg white in texture so if you do this you will see stretchy whitish and it's dry so this does not smell it doesn't itch it doesn't burn you won't have any pain when having sexual activity so this is normal and it signifies fertility okay so the second one is yeast infection so this happens when a specific fungus or uh, candida grows out of control in the vaginal area so the discharge is thick whitish it looks like cottage cheese if you look at it very very closely so the vagina becomes irritating swollen itchy this is not sti it's not sexually transmitted infection so it is treatable and you know the doctor can give somebody antifungal medication and it will get rid of it this one is bacteria vaginosis or you can call it bv the real cause of this is, of this problem is unknown but there are risk factors such as smoking douching new sexual partner multiple sexual partners so the vaginal discharge is yellowish in color grayish with strong foul fishy odor or smell it is itchy and again the vaginal area that's the vulva is a kind of swollen if you have to look at it closely and it, it the person that has it will also experience burning sensation this is treatable because of uh, flagell this will take care of it very very easily the next one is trichomoniasis we call it trick in short so this is sti this one is sexually transmitted infection and it's caused by a parasite it can also be transmitted by sharing towels bathing soup with somebody who has this sti so the discharge is yellowish greenish frothy so frothy i means like it has small small bubbles in it or it has this foul smelling and the person that has it will experience burning sensation irritation pain during sex and this is treatable by a course of antibiotic if you happen to have it please make sure you notify your partner your spouse so that that person can be treated as well otherwise you will get reinfected by the person if the person also 
has it okay so that's why both of you need to be treated the next one is gonorrhea and chlamydia in other words when somebody have gonorrhea the person is going to be tested or treated for chlamydia because these two are like twins they go side by side they are they most of the time they come together so that's why when one has gonorrhea the person have to be treated tested and treated for chlamydia as well so this is sti this is sexually transmitted infection okay so the vaginal discharge is cloudy yellowish greenish and there is urinary incontinence the person will experience and also bleeding in between menstrual periods okay so this person will have this kind of burning painful sensation during urination so early diagnosis and treatment is very very crucial very very critical in this situation to prevent pelvic inflammatory disease okay Okay? and also to prevent other pelvic pain that might be chronic if not treated so please make sure you go to the doctor as soon as you start experiencing this so that you can have treatment and also please notify your sexual partner your your spouse that something like this is going on so that the person can get adequate treatment and on time as well otherwise you will be reinfected if you treat yourself alone and whoever that has it you're dealing with will reinfect you so that's why two people need to be treated immediately and thoroughly next one is genital herpes this is sti sexually transmitted infection so everyone that is experiencing this one needs to notify the sexual partner the spouse so that both of them can be treated at the same time otherwise the person will reinfect you if you treat yourself alone so this is excessive vaginal discharge with pain and it has blisters at the vaginal area or in the pubic area so the blisters are very very itchy and painful and sometimes they might bop they might bust and turn into sores so this person needs to be treated immediately and do not have sex until you're totally uh, cured of this infection so another one is cervicitis cervical polyps precancerous or cancerous growth in the vaginal or in the genital tract so this person will have some type of brownish discharge blood stains in your underways or pad or bloody discharges that are not related to your menstrual period or after birth okay so when this happens please make sure you go and see your doctor this can be a sign of something very very bad again it can be related to precancerous cells growing so that's why you need to go and see your doctor immediately to be able to diagnose you and rule out certain things so how do we keep the vagina clean and healthy use a very mild or gentle soap to, with warm water to cleanse the vulva area that means the outside of the vagina please do not clean the inside with any type of soap because it's gonna make you itchy and burning and have discharges so vagina by nature has its own way of cleansing it okay so there's a bacteria we call normal flora that lives in that environment it helps to clean it lubricate it and keep it healthy okay so in other words these prevent microorganisms and fungus from growing out of control in the vaginal area and keeps the ph of the vagina very very acidic and balanced and do not use any type of perfume strong soap or detergent gel deodorant um, wipes or any feminine product to clean the vagina this is going to cause a whole bunch of irritation burning sensation and also increase the amount of abnormal vaginal discharge okay another way is to avoid wearing tight underwear sweaty clothing for a very long period of time the best thing to wear as an underwear is cotton yes cotton is breathable and it also makes that place very very cool and comfortable so that's why cotton underwears are recommended over the nylon or whatever or g-string or whatever but again cotton underwear is the best underwear to wear and make sure that it's loose around the vaginal area tight underwears are not good for you as a lady another way of keeping the vaginal area clean and healthy is to wipe from front 
to back okay so wiping from front to back keeps bacteria away from the vagina you know if you wipe from back to front you're collecting bacteria from the rectum into the vaginal areas so that's why you wipe from front to the back to keep the vagina clean and clear of bacteria then another way is to maintain good sexual hygiene and use barrier contraception if needed okay again maintaining one sexual partner who is healthy is a very good thing to do if you're jumping from one sexual partner to the other you are exposing yourself to to so many things uh can range from hiv or herpes gonorrhea chlamydia all those sexually transmitted diseases you are exposing yourself to it if you don't maintain sexual activity that is healthy enough to keep you safe make sure you visit your doctor if you are having increase or repeated vaginal discharge so this will help to rule out diabetes and other STIs that might be going on there so if you are having this lots of vaginal discharges and repeated vaginal discharges please see your doctor to be able to rule out anything and when it's very very early and also if there is a treatment required that will be given to you as soon as possible then another way is to add probiotics to your diet yes there are probiotics over the counter or pre by prescription as well as eating at least one cup of yogurt a day that will also add probiotic to your system and these probiotics will help to maintain the normal flora the normal bacteria that lives in your vaginal area okay so again this will help to maintain normal bacteria that live in your vaginal area the way is to have a well woman checkup once a year once a year go and see your gynecologist or you can see your regular doctor because some of them can do at least do pap smear and other vaginal examinations that are very very minor okay to rule out anything and to make sure that you are healthy so let's round it up having a vaginal discharge is not unhealthy every woman every healthy woman has vaginal discharge but the difference here is what kind of vaginal discharge are you having if it's clear stretchy no smelling no burning no itching no pain during sex that is normal so it looks like egg white if you have to look at it closely thank you guys for watching another beautiful edition of annie author's vlog if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel or follow me on facebook please do so right away i really really love and appreciate you do not forget to like share and comment on my videos i love you guys Stay safe. Bye, guys.